Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing some Q&A's, uh, just glazing over some orders um, and some projects that I'm trying to finish up. But in the meantime, while I prepare all my stuff, go ahead and go grab your favorite drink, come back, sit down, relax, and let's chat. Alright guys, here I am. Hi! Alright, so today is just, um, we had some downtime and I figured I'd come on here. It's been a while. Um, I've just been really busy with some orders and, and just getting things done. But I figured I'd just hop on since I never come on too much. Um, I do have children, so if you hear a lot of wah, ma, help, and uh, two little brothers fighting, those are my boys. So, um, today I'm just going to be doing um, a few tumblers. And then, of course, I have to finish my first little rhinestone. I keep going to this camera, but I should be going to this one. Um, so then I have to finish this one. We're almost done. Um, since I've been so busy with other projects and other orders, it's just sometimes I just put things aside and then I'll, I'll get back to them. Um, if they're just projects. But if we have orders, like we've been getting from this tumbler, then of course they become priorities. So um, I'm gonna be glazing this one. Uh, for those of you that missed my uh, my bootleg video with no sound, I do apologize for that. I'm still learning to work these edits and, and other things that you do behind the scenes in order to um, you know to bring you guys a good quality video. So today I'm gonna be finishing this tumbler. Well, not really finishing it. I'm going to epoxy it to give it its first seal um, before I can apply the invisible uh, footprints. And this one still needs a second coat, but as you can see, uh, the footprints are there. You don't see them now, um, but I do have my handy dandy UV light, which we have to turn on. Ah, where did you go? No, let's not open that. Sorry, Sorry guys. I got my little uh, heated poncho here because today is a really cold day. And uh, I just had to pick up one of my boys from the bus stop and it's freezing and it's raining and yucky. So this is the one where I did put the footprints already. So let me just hit it with the UV light a little bit so you guys can see that. And I hope you guys can hear me fine. So let's put away that UV light and as you guys can see, look at those footprints. Um, I did put them walking around. Um, it looks like maybe four people are walking around in my cup. Um, and then in the little corners, I'm going to be adding the names of my children, my husband, and, and myself. So like that the footprints are being led by the person, you know, that's, um, that's in the cup, just like the movie. So that's pretty cool. So of course, when you're in the sun, the footprints will definitely appear. But if it's a cloudy, rainy day like today, um, they... won't appear it's only when it's really bright outside that's when your footprints are going to appear and that's how that goes my video when I did the the map disappearing prints um, I do have it posted on Facebook and I also have it on my YouTube channel um, so instead of doing the fabric um, I decided to do printable vinyl so this is printable vinyl. Um, I got it from Silhouette, uh, which is like the, the cheapest printable vinyl so far. Um, and it's good quality. Uh, what I do is when I print them off my Epson um, 4800, what I do is I do use the Mosh Posh acrylic sealer um, to seal it a little bit so that when I do apply my epoxy, the ink doesn't, doesn't run. So this is printable vinyl. Uh, I don't do so well with fabric. I'm pretty bad with fabric. 
So, and I don't like the chunkiness of the fabric. So, and then you have to mosh posh it and you gotta wait for the mosh posh to dry to then make sure there's no bumps on your fabric to then mosh posh it again. And that for me, just, just saying it just gets me anxious. So I chose to do the printable vinyl version. So, so I have these silicone little cups that I also get on Amazon. These are easier to clean. Um, and these plastic ones, if you really are tight for money and you're trying to preserve um, material, then I suggest that you get alcohol and a bounty towel and you can clean them out. Or like, I invest in these and they come in handy when cleaning my tools and let's just say um, I'm running low on inventory and I'm waiting for a shipment, then I'll just use these wipes just to clean the little cups to last me until the new shipment comes in. So bear with me, let me go get my mix. All right, here we go. I had to close the boys' door too, so that you guys don't get distracted by the alphabet song. And then of course, I don't lose my train of thought listening to ABC in the background. So, here we are. So I'm going to take my part B, one of my part A. Alright, and just um, keep some um, popsicle sticks aside. Um, I do use my cocktail stainless steel mixer stick. Um, but I like to use the popsicle sticks when scooping part A, because part A is a little thicker than part B. But you wanna make sure that all your epoxy is in there, so that when you mix it, it comes out perfect, and your cup hardens faster, and you get no sticky residue. All right, let's just put that aside. Part B, and I do the same thing with Part B, although it's um, more liquidy than Part A. But again, I want to make sure that I'm getting all that juice out um, because if I don't, then I won't be measuring both parts evenly, and then of course I'll end up with a sticky cup. Um, I will be going over. Um, my website and my Etsy page uh, just to show you guys um, how to maneuver it on them. Um, a lot of my um, clientele customers are people that are not very savvy uh, with the internet so I want to be able to take a few minutes just to uh, show them how to scroll and where to go and you know all that jazz. I just take my brush, I dip, and again you just find your own method, what works for you. So as you can see, sometimes I just massage the epoxy a little bit here and then go down. And then of course when I do the bottom, I do the same thing too. But right now I'm just focusing on the top, the bottom. All right. So I feel confident that this is fully covered and you can see that beautiful shine, that glare. So bear with me because we gotta work fast with this epoxy too. We can't take our sweet time. So I'm gonna move this cup over to my big machine and I'll be right back. Let's do our popcorn. So let's take our lid, put that aside. Say hello to my little friend, my little helper. Since no one's on here talking to me, let me just uh, bring him in to keep me company. All right, so let's get our noodle. Now I normally use a tumbler shield on this, um, 
but we recently uh, did some renovations in our home so everything is pretty much still in the attic in terms of my crafting supply and I'm bringing it down as slowly as possible but um, hi Joanne if you don't have a tumbler shield then what I advise you guys to do is take a little bit of the uh, painters tape and just put it on the inside so like that your epoxy doesn't fall inside your cup and then when it's time to clean it you don't um, struggle with the cleaning because when epoxy falls inside the cup you will have trouble um, cleaning it off and then it looks like you used the cup and that's not a cup you want to sell to a customer. I'm so sorry I forgot to say hi to most of you who signed in. Welcome. While I glaze this cup, please enjoy some music. Alright, give me one second. We're going to move this to the back. Alright, so let's just tape the bottom. So for large tumblers like this, you require a special adapter. I was able to find a file on Etsy. I do have a 3D printer, so I'm able to uh, print out multiples of these adapters and they seem to work really well for me. For big tumblers like this, you are going to require um, a good amount of epoxy, so make sure that you measure, I want to say about 30 mLs part A and 15 mLs part B, and that should cover your whole tumbler. Okay, so here I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of the epoxy that came on my tape. I don't want it to um, get to the bottom of my tumbler here. So let's just clean this up and move this over to the machine and we're done with this. Okay, so here is my final cup that I'm going to finish glazing, and now we are going to move on to showing you guys how to maneuver uh, through my personal website and on my Etsy shop. Stay tuned. If you guys enjoy watching me do my orders and other projects, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so here's my page. It's going to be really easy. Just go into, let me just get out of here. Um, let's just go into our search engine and type in girlinscreations.com and I should be able to pop up and voila. As you can see, I pop up right away. You have my own website, um, and then you have my Etsy shop, and you'll be able to just find me very easy. And so let's just go to the site, and you are going to be greeted by this page. It's very simple, everything is on one page. Um, the okay, so when we jump into the main page, when you scroll down, you are going to see um, all my products that I have on the website and you can go through the filter right here on your left hand side um, you can go by category um, whatever it is that you're particularly looking for uh, if not you can always use the search engine that's right up top and you can just navigate very easily on one page it will not take you anywhere else unless you click on the items themselves and it will take you into their window with more descriptions. 
So for example, let's go to um, one of these. Um, let's try let's try the life custom one. Um, this one is for all the tumblers. Um, for people that are looking for like unique tumblers, custom made, um, I would normally do a live on my channel uh, so that they can see the process of their cup order. Um, but as you can see here on my website, um, I am offering the four interest um, free payments with PayPal. Um, I love PayPal. I've been using PayPal for a long time and it's safer for the client and for myself. So go ahead and look at that feature. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. And so let's move on. Okay, so here is uh, more details about um, how you're going to make your purchase. Uh, there is a note box here where you can go ahead and put all your information in, in terms of what you want your tumbler to be, uh, the color, the person's name, what kind of design. And then of course, I'll be reaching out to you uh, within 24 to 48 hours to discuss further. Uh, once you made your purchase, please be sure to read the description below before you make your purchase. If you have any questions, please include them in your email. Um, there is an email under description there for me, so you can reach out to me that way. Also, if we go to About Me, it's going to take you all the way down. If you click on general information, it's going to take you to a separate page where it has my shipping information, general information, and payment methods. So after you review that, you can click on blogs. It will take you to a separate page where I have a couple of blogs. I don't have a lot. I, I feature a few people, um, Tumblr makers that I admire, uh, people who I've purchased from, and you know, just what's their favorite hot seller and how they make it. And they have their own YouTube channel. So feel free to check out that information and go ahead to their YouTube channel and just check out their awesome tutorials. And then if you go back to the page and you click on contact, it's going to take you to my my contact session where you can, you can put in your information um, and of course I'll receive it and I will, I will reply within 24 to 48 hours. So here you see on your right hand side the review area where you could leave your five star review with an emoji. Use a username and an email address to authenticate that you're a real person and that's a, another great feature to have. We also have our rewards program. It is completely free and you can go ahead and click on that box and be able to find more information about that. And if you create an account with us, everything is completely private and you are able to view your rewards there. All right, back to Google. So here Google is showing that I'm right here for my Etsy shop. Click on that. And for those of you that don't know, uh, Etsy has made me a star seller for March 2022. And so I'm pretty proud of that. I'm excited. And so you guys can go ahead and check out all that information here. Uh, it is Girlins Creations, but I mostly sell stationary items like desk calendars, address labels, stickers uh, for any type of occasion. Uh, right now my hot seller is that monogram desk calendar that you just saw, but feel free to just scroll through and take a look at that. And you can always go all the way back to the review section and check out my reviews as well. So basically this is uh, my websites in a nutshell guys, uh, my personally private website along with Etsy and that's it. If you guys enjoy watching me do my orders and other projects, feel free to hit that subscribe button.